Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world. I'm player one. I'm player two. And welcome back to Layton. Last time, we are finally in the castle now. The spooky spooky. Yeah. And we have met Alucard. I mean Anton. And his voice was very deep. Way deeper than I thought it would be. That man has a very feminine face. I did not expect him to sound like Big Dick Randy. Oh no, not Big Dick Randy. Uh, but yeah. We are now have to examine the room and see what we can find. In this nice little, nice little guest room. Uh, we've already found the coins. So that's good. The lighting is apparently relaxing. Oh. I say, look at this picture, Luke. Is that full sense there? Yes, yes. No. No, that that's clearly just 1950s London. What do you want about? Hmm. Oh, I'm joking, yes. This is in fact full sense. Picture says it's about 50 years old. In with the 50 years old. Pretty much the same as the full sense outside our window, though. Hmm, they have to be in a time bubble. What are you thinking, Professor? Oh, it's nothing. I was just pondering something. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, here we go. That is a fascinating painting. Have you ever seen such a convincing illustration of a gala? That shit looked like it, it was straight from the time. From what we've seen of this castle, I'm certain the ball was extremely opulent. Not the word I would use, but okay. My, it's gotten late. There's time for a quick puzzle and then it's off to sleep, alright? I... Uh, they, he is a. I just, I just had a thought. Yes. So, what if, and hear me out, when you're outside of full sense, you open up the Elysium box and you, it's basically, uh, you can actually look down and see full sense. Like it's 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 some weird spatial thing. It's a damn pocket dimension. Yes, but since we're in full sense, when you open the box, it's completely empty. Huh. All right. Well, we got Anton and the. Uh... And, and the reason people die from opening the box is because, uh, is is because I don't know. Probably the shock and it, it probably just overloads the mind just from looking at such a sight they just death I'd be built different uh, we got Anton and his girl the couple in this piece seem to be dancing high in the air floating and possibly near the chandelier but as it turns out when viewed properly there's nothing strange all at all about the picture if you look close enough, one peculiar area of the painting hints at the reason the whole picture seems so odd. Okay. Uh, people... Safe. People don't have, um... People don't have reflections. They do, but the others don't. Let's see if this works. Okay. I am a genius. So, something about the reflection? Uh, okay. Nice eye. The couple seem to be the only two people with a visible reflection on the floor. It seems that the scene in this painting isn't of the ball itself, but rather of its <clears throat> reflection on the ballroom floor. Okay. That's all right. It really is a magnificent picture. Oh, what's this? Luke, tell me, do these two look familiar to you? It looks like Anton. And is that Katya? Probably not. That's probably her mother. 
Oh. It's been quite a day for us, so perhaps it's time to turn in. Would that make Katya a damp here? Eh? Mm. Also, in, in, our, in actuality, the, what was in the Elysium box was probably some of that new ore they found in the mine. True. It, it was probably like hella radioactive. I forgot about that. All right. Ooh, we do a slow fade out. What's going to happen? Ooh. Ooh, flashback. What the hell? Um. What? <laughs> Professor, is that Katya? Vampire magic. <laughs> hmm. The resemblance is striking. What are they doing together? <laughs> Fear not, my dear. They're just the main course for this evening. Oh shit. And my, don't they look fresh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. No, this is a dream. Are they having a shared dream? Wait, what? Oh, lovely. It's been far too long since I'd encountered prey so feisty. What the hell? Sir, I'm lost. Anton, what sort of madness is this? I knew it! You are a vampire! Well, if that's the case, it was rather foolish for you to venture here, wouldn't you say? But I'm afraid it's too late now. I must begin preparations. In the meantime, why don't you just stay put and enjoy each other's company? After all, it'll be your last chance. Huh. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Problem. They're probably tied in the back, right? <laughs> What's stopping them from leaning on each other and Leighton just untying, but like laying on each other back to back, them getting in a proper position and Leighton untying the knot on Luke, and Luke just untying the knot on him. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that hard to get out of. Luke, listen to me. Take a deep breath and collect yourself. But I... there's no cause for worry, my boy. Whoever tied these ropes did a poor job. But yeah. Mm -hmm. With a little work, I may be able to get free. Oh, here we go. So this is this is real. This is actually happening. This is not a dream. The hell? A man sits bound by a long length of rope among several posts. While he has no hope of untying his bonds, he can still move his legs. Were he to stand up and run away, his long trail of rope looks like it might catch on at least one of the posts. He'll need to use his legs to pull up any posts that prevent him from running away before he can dash off. Mark any posts that prevent the man from running away. Okay. So I'm gonna guess he, he goes up. Let's see, probably top left. Safe. You think just that? Safe. Consider this puzzle solved. I, I, I think I think I saw a third one, maybe. No, that one's good. What do you mean this one's good? See, I think that. We're saved, right? Yeah, I think that one is Consider good. This puzzle solved.
man these these ones these ones are hard for me I, I, I cannot tell consider this puzzle solved okay let's 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 see if we can get a hint of how many look at how the rope is trapped around the pole uh-huh the man only needs to remove a single post Consider this puzzle solved. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay. Uh, okay. I was right. I was just too, doing too many. Yeah, these ones. These ones are hard for me to work around. I, I cannot visualize them. We are free. We're finally free. But there's no time to stand around. We must find a way out quickly. Okay, storage room. Here we here we are. In the bucket. Barrel. And toolbox. Okay. Oh, already. Locked oh in. no! Calm yourself, Luke. There's bound to be another way out of this room. Look around you. Oh. Found the key. Let's see if I can't reach it. We grab the key for 60 fucking pickerats. I. <sighs> oh, Alright. Sir, what did, what did I say before we started recording? Uh, what did you say? If we may, if we found a damn sliding block puzzle, I'm gonna shit. It's going to happen. Don't. It's going Please. to happen. It's gross. It's going to happen. <sighs> At least this one doesn't seem that complicated. There's not many p pieces, but still. Fucking, fucking. Ah! Why? Why can't the game just be good? <sighs> Put the. Yeah, no, that's. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I think you've maybe almost so close. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then you can do that. There you go. Wait, no. Basically, almost there. Just gotta. Hmm. See, this one is slightly different because there's none pieces we can put back in the in the top part. Oh, 
Also, who puts a damn sliding block puzzle in a little oh, tunnel to get a key? Just because of that, Anton is a bad guy. Anton reveals the true villain. Sliding block puzzles. Of course. I wonder what Don Paolo's doing. Probably being chased. Maybe. This is ash. Yeah, that Oreo cola you're drinking, yes. I'm not drinking it. Talking about this bullshit. I don't care that it's 60 picarats. This is stupid. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna try something. Because you've always started with doing the yellow. So maybe... What if... What if we don't have to do the yellow? That's what I'm saying. It was a goddamn ruse. Yeah. Yeah. I think they... I think they tricked you. Well, shit. No, I don't, no, I don't even, I don't even know. Okay, wh which direction did you do that? You did that counterclockwise? Mm hmm If this doesn't work, probably do it the other direction. Never fucking mind. Oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe you do a little, a little, ooh. Does that do anything? Does that do anything at all? No. Angers me. No, it does, it does jack shit. They, they know that these are bad. That's why they always put so many of them. Because you remember the first game. It had a bunch of them too. And then they put like four in the bonus puzzles. My question is, how is Leighton even doing this? Is this just like a panel on the whole? Telepathy. I wouldn't even doubt it. So we can get to here. We can get to here, but then fuck you. I'm losing my mind. I feel like we've done this exact sequence before. And then we're stuck. <laughs> it 
it's like it's right there, but it's also not. We just can't get more room. You don't do it. Yeah, no. All right, folks, I think you've seen us fumble enough. We'll be right back. And we've done it. This should do the trick. Stupid ass thing. Huh. All right, now we can finally move on. Oh, uh. sir, I hate them. There we are. The door is unlocked now. Freedom is ours, Luke. Might want to take that uh, axe. Yeah, probably. Also, diary. All right. All right. Getting there. My father fell ill from that sickness and has passed on. I also heard that many of the people who left Full Sense have formed a small village a safe distance from town. I imagine she lives there now, too. I've decided to send her a letter. As Duke, I can't leave town, but I've entrusted my message with a man who is passing through town. Now all I can do is wait for her reply. Okay. Okay. Under the castle, what the hell? Okay. Barrel. Machine thingy. And then, like... It says area a little above... There it is. Oh. Branching paths? You should probably head out back. This door won't budge. Shit. I don't see any kind of lock on it. Good point. This door must be controlled by some sort of device positioned elsewhere. Okay. I know so where it is. Down. I've never seen such an immense boiler before. This must be the castle's main power source. For some reason, though, it's not currently in use. What do you make of the other machines here? They're so big. Also a damn ginormous hole. Right to venture a guess, I'd say this equipment was used to mine gold in the area. It's likely the same equipment they used to create that large hole in the castle's flooring. Oh. oh. So that's why this place is so drafty. But look, there's bizarre smoke. If you want to too close, habit breathing is probably terrible for you. Whoever broke the ground here must have known that machinery inside and out. One misplaced scrape of the shovel could have sent the whole foundation crashing down. Not to be rude, but I don't think we really have time to admire the miners' handiwork. Oh yes, quite right, my boy. I believe we can open the door above us if we get this boiler up and running again. Okay, steam power. Ah, oh, here we go, a nice valve puzzle. Which valves do you need to open to send steam from the boiler into two, but not one or three? All valves All right. start in the closed position. All right. Safe. Let's see. Just leave it to me. Baboom, bagoom. We go from a twenty-minute puzzle to a five mi a five-second one. You gotta love it. That said, vaporific. Good work, my boy. Now, upward and outward. Don't see any other way out of here. But first, also camera. But first. 
coins. You know. You know I love my coins. Wooden boards in the lower right. Uh, mm. This boiler has been out of commission for quite some time. Okay. Wooden boards in the lower right corner. Not the damn thing. There it is. Shushing. All right, we only need one more after this one. Here we are. Lever position. Just leave it These ones are getting hard. A little bit, a little bit. Piece of cake. I don't think anything's gonna trump that garlic in the top, though. Ah, bent railing. Mm. Consider this puzzle solved. All right. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. True. Okay. I'm I'm not I'm not seeing anything. I'm looking at the ceiling stains, I'm looking at the number of rails, I don't Dave. We we see there. Just be trick of the eye, so I'm asking to save. You only need to save them. Um, I'll just do it anyway. It's quick. And now to test my theory. Yeah, there's not a damn thing there. Uh... No. How many can you do? Just one. Because we're only missing one. And you can only do one difference at a time for some reason. Those those bricks look like a different color. Test my theory. Hold on. These bricks look like a different color. You see what I mean? But I don't think that's the difference. I think that's just the picture. But I'm not seeing anything else. Everything else looks the same. Even the damn wall stains. Uh... Sir, are we blind? And now to test my theory.
So we may... We may be blind. And now to test my theory. Damn, okay, I guess something did top the garlic. And now to test my theory. I would not expect us to be on a spot the difference. Uh, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what, oh, do, you, what do you mean? The railing comes out further. <sighs> you fucking bastard. God damn it. To test my theory. Oh, how did I not see that? You tricky bitch. Okay. Hidden puzzle time. In the bowels. Mm -hmm. All right. The frog's path. Huh? A frog sits perched on the space labeled S. This little guy has an unusual jump. His first jump travels one space. His second jump travels two spaces, and his third jump travels three spaces. After his third jump, he repeats this pattern. The frog can't change his direction mid-jump, but he can turn around between jumps. The goal is to move through the path below and land exactly on the space marked G. What is the fewest number of jumps he needs to do this? Okay, so... So this is... One, one two, two, three... three. So then, preferably we want to get him to the end of this row. Okay. Yep. yep. So that's Got clear. Clear. One, two, three, four, one, five, two. Yes. Six. Three. He's on. He's on this one. And then I guess one. seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. No, I'm. I'm. I'm trying to count out. Uh, how many? Uh. I'm just trying to count out the pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. No. Wait, you made it, made it wrong. And then this one. All right. Well, in that intermission, I have I have figured it out. So we start with three, and then we have uh, five, then six, then seven. You'd go back eight, and then nine, and then ten. You go back again eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Should, 13. If I counted right. One, two, well, three, four, five. Save and let's try it. Six. I said 13, right? Yes. It's some. It's somewhere around there. 17? That's what the 17. hell? Game... Consider this puzzle solved. Let me try 12. 
Consider this puzzle solved. Okay, there we go, there we go. I counted wrong, I counted wrong. A true but leaves no I did the right unsolved. did the right order. Yeah, double back twice. What is that man doing? Look at that frogman. Ugh. I don't like that. All right, all right. And, uh, sir, you may not think it, uh, we're actually done. I hate sliding block puzzles with a passion. They make me very upset. If we scaffold it next week, you know why. Mm. Mm. Uh, but yes, I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time when we maybe, or just maybe, escape the castle. Perhaps. Alright. Bye bye. E.